Now, the program to help you and your family get fit and stay fit with a biblical foundation without a one-size-fits-all plan. It's Faith Family Fitness with your host, Full Armor Sports and National Champion Coach, Jason Lupo. Welcome to Faith Family Fitness on 100.7 The Word. I'm your host, Jason Lupo. This show is about you, your family, your health, and most importantly, your faith. And every week, we'll give you information to get healthy as a family, strengthen your relationship with your kids, and root yourself deeper in the Word of God. One of the primary reasons I hear parents saying they place their child in sports is to develop life skills or life lessons. And while that's true, and it has the remarkable ability to teach kids valuable life lessons, sport as a platform for positive youth development is not inherent but rather directed with purpose. Countless times we as spectators, coaches, parents, and fans have witnessed times when the lessons being taught on the field of play were contrary to our view of the life lessons we want our kids to learn. If we're involved in a toxic team environment, are we teaching teamwork? If we make excuses for our youth's performance instead of analyzing what may have led to the mistake, are we teaching youth to overcome adversity? How do we correct behavior contrary to what we want to see? How do we better set our youth up for success? And what does being intentional about youth development in sport look like in today's world? We are going to answer some of these questions on today's show, and I invite you to stay and listen after this brief timeout. Thanks for listening to Faith Family Fitness, a presentation of Full Armor Sports Teams. Teamwork is at the core of any successful organization. Full Armor Sports, led by national champion coach Jason Lupo, is now registering for school year sports programs. Full Armor is a multi-sport teaching and training organization with homeschool options available. All of Full Armor Sports coaches are certified and experts in their field. Full Armor's coaches combine for over 500 years of coaching experience. They will help your kids gain fundamental skills, the concepts of teamwork, essential to being successful throughout their lives. Multiple sports options are available now, from swimming, softball and volleyball, to powerlifting and youth MMA. The faith-based approach to making sports fun and productive are a great choice for your kids at Full Armor Sports Teams. Learn more at FullArmorSportsTeams.com. All right, welcome back to Faith Family Fitness on 100.7 The Word. Today we are talking about youth sports as a vehicle for positive youth development. The Little League World Series wrapped up this last weekend on Sunday, Hawaii beating Curacao. And uh, there's something about the Little League World Series that I love. I watch it every year. It's one of my favorite sports events that happens every year. And I love it because there's raw emotions. There's raw talent. And one of the coolest things about Little League World Series is there's underdog upsets all the time on any given day. On any given day of the Little League World Series, any team can win. And we've seen it. We've seen remarkable underdog stories. And it doesn't always reflect what we see in pro sports. Most times on Sunday mornings, you know, the favorite always wins. We're always looking for the favorite. You know, in college, sometimes we see a lot of underdogs, but not, not a crazy amount. And we don't see these miraculous stories. And when you look at youth sports in general, and even when you look at your kids' teams, there's this uniqueness about when you watch little kids step on the field. They don't know they're the underdogs. They don't know they're outranked. They don't know they're outmatched. As kids kind of grow older and they get into high school, that starts to set in. But how do we get back to this idea that at any given moment, anybody can win? You play the game every Sunday morning. You play the game every Saturday morning or afternoon or Friday nights. And you step onto that field with the anticipation that it's a brand new game and a brand new start. But as I watched the Little League World Series, I had this question in my head wondered how many little leaguers will end up in the MLB. And the truth of the matter is only 64 athletes who played in the Little League World Series have played in the MLB. 
And that's spanning over a course of nearly 70 years. And so it begs the question, why? Why do we have so many players playing at a young level that are not able to excel and don't end up playing at a higher level of competition? 70% of kids will drop out of organized sport by the age of 13. 70%. And so you look at that and you look at the Little League World Series and the truth is is that a handful of those kids will go on to play high school ball. Not all of them probably will. And why is it? In a comprehensive report by the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency titled What Sport Means in America, a study of sport's role in society, they conducted close to 9,000 surveys. And when they ask both youth and adults why they participate in sport, the overwhelming primary reason was because sport was fun. 81% of youth participating in local community sports listed fun as the primary reason they started sport. And even 79% of youth at a higher level of sport at the national governing bodies also listed fun as the primary reason they started sport. So what happens? Is it just about fun? Is fun the reason why these kids drop out? Fun's the reason they started. But what do they value? What do youth truly value? And so we also have an answer to that question. The most important values during competition, when they ask these athletes... 92% responded doing my best. 83% said performing well. And tied for third was improving my skills and the element of fun. For community programs, for youth programs, general public population programs, doing my best was also the valued element. And so why do we have so many kids dropping out of sport? What stands out about all this research and all this information is this idea of self-achievement. You'll notice winning wasn't even in the top five. And that doesn't mean that I don't think winning is important because I think the scoreboard matters. I think our youth want to win. But it's not the primary reason why they're participating in sport, and it's not the most valued element. The kids want to be able to step off the field and say, I did my best, I tried my hardest, and I achieved a level of self-excellence. And when we look at the reasons why kids quit, one of the big ones is it wasn't fun anymore. We got to remember that kids develop in an ecosystem. They don't develop by themselves in an aquarium with nothing else around them. They're surrounded by an ecosystem of people that speak into their lives on a daily basis. And we have to understand who we put in our kids' lives. When asked in the same study what uh, percentage of the people in these kids' lives were a role model to them, Over 70% of the athletes questioned said that coaches were a positive role model. Coaches beat out parents, they beat out teachers, and they beat out the athletes that they look up to. In fact, only about 40% of the youth said that athletes were a positive role model to them. Their peers were, but not professional athletes. So we have this idea in our mind that these professional athletes is what our kids are looking up to. And we know from the research that truly not a lot of them are. And it doesn't mean that we don't want our professional athletes to be better role models for our kids. And trust me, there are some phenomenal role models out there, just as many as there are not role models in our professional sports. And so we we have to keep in mind that we have this desire for superb athletic performance. And it oftentimes shapes who we put in our kids' lives. 
We're looking for the best of the best that can teach those skills. How to swing the bat. How to shoot that perfect free throw. There are quarterback coaches. There are catching clinics. Anything that you want to find for your kids to develop them in a sport is there. But we have to remember who we put in our kids' ecosystem. Because just because they are the best at teaching that skill, does it mean that they are the best at teaching those life lessons we want our kids to learn? Is it a win-at-all-costs model? Have we chosen our athletic programs based on the promise of an athletic scholarship? Have we chosen a program where winning trumps the need to develop youth in more aspects than simply swinging a bat or throwing a ball? Parents will always exist in this same ecosystem. So we must ask, is the parental behavior contrary to what we expect our youth to model on the field? And do we reinforce the lessons learned through success and failure? The ultimate question we are trying to answer today is, is sport a vehicle for youth development? And are our kids learning valuable life skills through sports? And the answer is yes. The answer is yes, sport can be a vehicle for positive youth development. But not always. We have to be intentional about what we do and what we say to our kids. We know that fun is the reason kids start and stop playing sports. But the most important thing during competition that kids pointed out had to do with self-improvement and self-excellence. And we know that work ethic is at the center of sport performance. And we know that hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. The truth of the matter is only an athlete knows if they have given their all on the field or in the pool. And we can hound our athletes all day to work harder. But is that the best way to encourage performance? I can tell you from watching Little League World Series this year and last year and for a couple years now, all those athletes are trying their hardest. They are trying their very best. They went out there to win a game, to win a championship. They also went out there to have fun and to have an experience that lasts forever. I started Full Armor Swim Team a number of years ago. Actually, we're going on, I think, our seventh season. Um, We've since expanded in other sports. And when people ask me what makes your team different, I always tell them I want my programs to match the youth sports experience that I had growing up. And not all of them, but a particular one. And that was the experience that I had with the cycling team in California that I raced on and trained with and competed with because I had a blast. And although injuries and illness prevented me from getting to the next level of sport, I don't regret a single minute. I don't regret any of the time that I spent training, any of the blood, sweat, and tears, because it was about the experience. And I think that is what Little League World Series brings out. And that's what I want our teams to bring out. We have a little thing on our website at fullarmorsportsteams.com. That says, what makes us different? And I wrote that a number of years ago, and and it's still the exact same as what I believe. Achievements, medals, trophies, those will fade. But the life lessons that we learn, the relationships that we build, and the camaraderie are going to last in our kids' minds forever. And it's going to change the course of how they treat everything that they do in life. In Colossians 3, Paul gives us critical advice. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for men. Since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward, it is the Lord Jesus Christ you are serving. Colossians 3, 23, 24. Everything that we do is for God's glory. 
And as Christians, as parents, we want to instill that same belief in our kids. And so while it's easy for our kids to come off the field and for us to say, I guess we need to work harder next time, or if you work hard, you will get them next time. We tend to catch ourselves saying that. But as we talked about, those kids show up to play. A lot of times they are giving their all. We'd be better off reminding our kids that we do this for the glory of God. And if we give all of our heart, it is pleasing to him. Win or lose, the glory goes to God. And sport can teach discipline, self-discipline. Apostle Paul references sport in an abundance throughout the New Testament. And oftentimes he uses sport as an analogy for self-discipline. Dedication to the mission provided to him by God. But that's another thing that we have to be intentional about. If our child forgets their gear at home, if they forget their water bottle at home, are we rushing out the door of practice to go retrieve it for them and bring it back? Are we truly teaching our kids self-discipline in sport? Are our coaches teaching self-discipline in sport? And as parents, we do model everything for our kids. We model what self-discipline looks like. Coaches model what self-discipline looks like. Are we on time? Are we taking time to dive deep into the Bible and to spend time with God? Do you not know that in a race, all the runners run, but only one receives the prize? So run that you may obtain it. 1 Corinthians 9.24 There's a couple other things that I think are really important when we talk about instilling life lessons. And the first is this. Let kids have their successes. I think too often, and I catch myself as a coach doing this, but we're in this rush to correct. We're in this rush to fix the problems. And so a kid may have this phenomenal race. They may have this PR that they just hit. For those of you not in sports, PR is personal record. In some parts of the country, it's personal best. We argue with those parts of the country over which one is right. I could tell you PR is right. But either way, our kids have this phenomenal race, and sometimes we are so focused on fixing the problems with that race that that becomes the primary focus. We have to let kids have their successes. And I think we need to remember that as coaches, as parents, Even as teammates, sure, we can do better next time, but that's not what's important today. What's important today is that we celebrate what happened today here on the court or in the pool, on the track, on the field. And the last thing, and I'll probably get an email about this, but let coaches coach. We have to let coaches coach. You have chosen to entrust your child in the hands of a team and a coach and their peers. We can't always coach as parents. You can't always coach your kids all the time. Our kids need a coach and they need a parent. And oftentimes they can't play both roles. I remember there was a coach. I listened in a conference and they said, you know, they told a parent, If you want to coach, I'll be the parent. Because at the end of the day, coaches, they have a job to do. And sometimes we have to be tough on our kids. Sometimes we have to be hard on them. But at the same time, our our kids need a place to turn to where they're going to be comforted. And so if a kid has a tough race or they have a tough moment and the coach is correcting it, And then they go to the parent, and the parent wants to reinforce that correction. It's not the time and place. And if you feel like your 
coach that is coaching your kid is not doing things right, why are you there? If you truly feel like they are a terrible coach, why are you still in the program? And I even say that to the kids and the parents in my program right now. If you are listening and you think that my coaching staff is not doing their job, feel free. But even better, if you think that you can coach your kid better, why aren't you on the field? Why aren't you coaching? Why aren't you volunteering your time to speak into the lives of our kids? Let your coaches coach. Thank you for joining us. We are going to take a brief time out, and then we're going to wrap this up. Thanks for listening to Faith Family Fitness, a presentation of Full Armor Sports Teams. Teamwork is at the core of any successful organization. At Full Armor Sports, led by national champion coach Jason Lupo, a Christ-centered approach to sports fundamentals and fitness has earned his company the respect of athletes and their parents. Full Armor Sports is committed to helping youth in our community experience growth through sports and to strive for improvement and excellence. Further, youth compete as individuals coming together with a sense of teamwork, camaraderie, and support for one another. At Full Armor Sports, the reality is achievements, failures, wins, and losses eventually fade away. But the bonds team members form through competition evolve into relationships lasting forever. Learn more at FullArmorSports.com. All right, welcome back to Faith Family Fitness on 100.7 The Word. Today's topic is youth sport as a vehicle for positive youth development. And we've talked a lot about today. We've talked about our kids. We've talked about Little League World Series. We've talked about the reasons why kids start and stop playing sports. And while kids start playing sports for fun, a lot of times the things that they value are so much deeper than just having fun. It's self-improvement. It's self-excellence. It's doing their best. And so what does that mean for us as parents? What does that mean for us as coaches? What does that mean for sports as a larger portion of our society? I can tell you the one thing that always stands out to me, and I've said it for a long time, is that words matter. The words that we choose matter. What we tell our kids, how we act, how we respond to situations. I've apologized to my athletes on a regular basis throughout my coaching career because sometimes I mess up. Sometimes I don't say what my athletes need to hear in the moment. And sometimes I let my want for greatness overcome what my athlete needs during that time. And so we have to be wise about the words that come out of our mouth. And sometimes we need to redirect. Our athletes are going to have obstacles that they have to overcome. Our athletes are going to struggle to learn some of these lessons. And so what we do, how we respond, is important for the development of our youth. So remember at the end of the day that youth development is intentional. And sometimes we have to step back and ask those questions. Am I putting the right people in the ecosystem that my kids are developing in? Have I chosen the right people to mentor my kids? I know that there's a lot of sports programs and a lot of options out there, and I know that there are a lot of teams that do things right. But if you are looking for a home for your child, I highly recommend that you check out FullArmorSportsTeams.com. And if you have questions about today's content, or if you just have a comment, or you want to tell me that you're listening, email questions at faithfamilyfit.com. Dot org. And you can also visit faithfamilyfit.org for more information. Thank you for joining us on Faith Family Fitness. We are here every Saturday at 9 a.m. on 100.7 The Word. This has been Faith Family Fitness with Coach Jason Lupo of Full Armor Sports Teams of Colorado Springs. Join him at the same time next week for Faith Family Fitness on The Word. 100.7